I just jumped on to show you what I was making for dinner and to let you know the storm has begun. But just look at my beautiful carnations. I love them. They make me happy. So yeah, for dinner tonight, I pulled out of the freezer this PC bacon and onion. And uh, I added my own tomato and mushrooms to it. And there she is, ready to be eaten. So I'm just going to cut it up here and... Uh, have half for dinner tonight. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Nope. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to cut it and go enjoy it. Talk to you soon. Bye. Welcome back to another video. I hope everyone is doing well today and that you're having a lovely day. Um, hopefully no one else is getting hit by this snowstorm that we are apparently getting. Uh, it's already started in Saskatchewan and uh, it should start here sometime tonight. I think it's after 4 p.m. now and so far it hasn't started. But anyway, yesterday I went to see the doctor. He showed me the x-ray results and confirmed that I did fracture my foot. Uh, he said it was broken and a bit of ligament was damaged as well. So his recommendation was to wear this lovely air boot for the next six weeks. But in four weeks time, I'm going to go back to the hospital, have an x-ray, and we're going to see how she's healing. So let's hope that all is good and I only need to wear this uh, stupid boot for the next six uh, weeks. Anyway, after that, I had to go pick up these items that are in the back of the truck uh, from an auction. And it was either pick them up yesterday or today. And I really didn't want to go anywhere today in case the snow started earlier. So I got them yesterday. The guys were nice enough to load it on the back of the pickup for me. And uh, I'll show you this in a minute. But I'm home now, and yes, I could back the truck into the garage here and leave it. But just in case I do have to go out and then I forget that they're back here, I would prefer that they were out because one has glass doors on it. So that's why I'm standing out here in the garage. So first I'll show you this butter churn that I got. Don't know how old this goes back. There you go, nice close up off it. And it is complete, like, oh, let me see if I can hold it. This turns and the lid, when I take it off, it's complete inside. Very pleased with this, it is quite large. And I know the lid goes on, that's because I had it off. It goes on again, right, is it that, yeah, right there. Love it. So this is going to be displayed in our front living room with all the other antiques. So I'm just going to sit it out of the way. Now the other two items that I won in the auction was uh, a small china cabinet, which is needed for some of our valuables. And I found a desk. Love the desk. So you guys are going to help me unload it from the truck. I'm basically going to slide it and park them right here. Hopefully I can do it. Shh, don't tell Sean that we're doing this right now. Because when he called last night, he says to me, oh, and by the way, how are you getting those things off the back of the truck? And I said, well, you know, I could just slide them off into the garage. <laughs> and, this, and then his reply was, uh, now you know why I worry what you are up to when you are home alone. But you know what? I was a very independent woman all my life, like to do things my way and you know, when I want to do something I do it and I don't try to let this uh, illness stop me or broken feet. Oh, on top of the broken foot, I was chopping up vegetables on Saturday for dinner and what did I do? The big, the big knife, uh, my knife slipped and I chopped off part of my top finger. It's not that bad. I actually, I cut through the nail, so half the nail came off, and then I did kind of saw through a little bit of skin. We got the bleeding stopped, we've bandaged it up, and I'm good to go. Good to go. All right, let's try to get this off. 
It's not fun walking with this boot on, by the way. I'm gonna set my glasses out of the way. So hopefully, I can just slide these off like I said I would. I don't know how heavy they are. Oh, let's see what we can do here. Oh yeah, that's the plug for the, like this. I can just hear Sean now. I wonder if uh, I should put this here maybe. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, people. I just know I want it off the back of the track. So the price I paid for both items was reasonable, but I was like a bidding war on the desk. And so it was the higher priced item uh, that was reasonable priced, and so was this. But somebody else wanted that desk, and you will see why. But Caroline won, she did. Oh my goodness, this, this auction was, um, it ended Sunday night, so Sean was home with me while we were, while I was bidding on the stuff. This may take a while, slow and steady, they say. Slow and steady. This is actually quite heavy. And I'm not sure I'm gonna get it off. Because I certainly do not want to break it. I have no arm strength either, so I should not be doing this. Should not be doing this. But this is the one I want off because of all the glass. And of course, this is the top of it. The legs are down there. All right, what do you guys think? Think, I'm, think it's gonna work? Yeah. Now, if that had to be the top, I could have went straight down, but I can't do that. So we're gonna maybe see if we can turn it around here. Just might work. Mm. Whew, so dusty. So yeah, coming down the dirt road into the house still goes through the tunnel cover. All right, we're taking a break. We're deciding how we're gonna do this. Hmm, all right. I'm not going to be able to get my arms around it this way. That's the problem. And I want it to end up on these legs. Oh, I need help. I need help. All right. Oh, those are loose. Just screwed on little feet on the bottom of it. Two front ones were loose. All right, this would be so much easier with Sean. We're almost there. All right, I got it on the bed here. On the tailgate. I need to do now is make sure she goes down without falling down. Ah, I'm scared. This one's the hard one. I don't know if I should be above it lifting it down or on the ground here. I don't know. I don't know. Because once it starts coming, it's coming. Yeah. How is Caroline going to do this without breaking the glass? Oh, boy. I know we 
what you're all saying. Leave it on the truck for Sean. Which is probably what I'm gonna have to do. Yeah, I think I think we need to leave it on the back of the truck. So I sure don't want it to fall. shelves that go in so two little ones on each side and it does have two pull out drawers on the bottom wow look at that I've even got the paperwork with it what else oh little allen keys and stuff so whoever owned this before me took really good care of it oh it's beautiful all right we've cut this one off oh Silly guys, this had cut, came off. All I had to do was plug it in. And you know what? It's got two lights. There must be a light on either side. And I don't know what that sticker says. What does this orange sticker say? Nothing. It's just for that. All right. Let me wiggle this one over out of the way. Um, oh, it's so dusty. I cannot believe how much dirt is on top of it. All right, it's got little feet, so I'm not scratching the bottom feet. So I'm going to run over. Oh, there's some more pieces fell out. Cool. All right. I'm going to maneuver this over here. You see, this is why I hurt myself so much. I want stuff done. All right, you stay there. this back in so I don't lose it. Alrighty. One down, one to go. So we always just leave the, look at this. This is RJ's out, artwork. That dog loves to chew on blankets, and I think this is his blanket from the back seat, actually. And I don't know, you'd think I never fed that dog enough. But anyways, that is uh, what we do with these old blankets. We'll leave them in case we buy something at a thrift store, at a garage sale, at an auction. So, yeah, this, this one was over the front, so. All right, now's the desk. This desk is absolutely gorgeous, and I really have not decided where I want to use it. I could, if, I don't know, I could put it in my craft room as a makeup desk table because I've always wanted one. But I was thinking more to keep the furniture in there white. And this is not white. All right, that's not going to work. We have this handy dandy step on the back of our pickup. And a bar to keep you safe. Shh, again, don't tell Sean. I'm gonna climb up here and push it to the end. Let's put the good foot up first. Okay, oh my God, this boot is heavy. We're up, there we go, all right. So now I can flip this up and we can pull this beauty down. Wow, I cannot believe how much dirt road dust is in here. Oh my God, I love this. Love, love, love it. All right, it's gonna go back here. This is 
in excellent condition. And it dates back to 1930s. 1930s. It's a very rare find nowadays. I don't know, there's stuff on it there. But, you know, back in the day, all the stuff was made really well. I know what you guys are thinking. How is she getting down from there now? But don't you worry. I have it figured out. All right. So I'm going to come over here. I know. I know. Grab my bar. Come over this way. <laughs> Good foot down. All right. Next foot down. All right. Ta -da! Did I tell you guys I used to be a figure skater? And in all those years of figure skating and teaching from age seven to about age 48, I never fell and injured myself. I saved all that for now. I tell you. Oh, that hurt. I hit my head pretty hard. All right. Yeah, this just goes down. You hit this little bar. You push that in. If you're whew, strong enough to, that goes in. You lift this up, and it just pushes in again. And you wouldn't even know there was a step there, would you? All right, here we go. <coughs> Let me grab my glasses. It has a number on the back. Where did I put them? Whew, this is a workout. Oh, I also got my hair cut. Finally got my hair cut. She cut it like... I call this a little bob, but it, all my curls are going to show more. Yeah. Had a cut yesterday, and because I washed it yesterday morning, I didn't want to wash it again today. So, it'll look nice the next time I wash it. It just says, I can't read it. It's a 313, whatever that means. But there is no name on it that I can see. I'm not sure which call this darker wood. Is it mahogany? It could be. But this was the, back in the 1930s, this is what you saw, <coughs> excuse me. This is what you saw a lot of. A lot of um, dark wood. I'm just gonna grab a water out of the truck here. I know I have one. All right, break time again. This is like the calm before the storm out there. The birds are even quiet. Oh yeah, on my way home last night, I got a message that the chicks were ready to be picked up. I guess they were born either Sunday or Monday. And uh, I was like, darn, I probably could have, just detoured back to get them last night, but, but I was tired after my long day. And uh, I messaged the guy and I said, if I come out, you know, this morning, be there by about noon. And he said he had an appointment and he wouldn't be around. So I said, well, I got to keep an eye on the storm because I think like Saskatchewan and where we live are going to get it hit the worst, um, cause we are under the snowstorm advisory, but Winnipeg and where the chicks are isn't. So they are on the other side of Winnipeg. So it, it is a long drive. So Sean said, um, wait the storm out and maybe we'll both go on Saturday for them. So that'll be exciting. So I'm just gonna message the guy back and tell him, hold them for me. I'll leave him, you know, send him money if he wants. And uh, we'll go get them on Saturday. But when Sean comes home for the weekends, I don't expect him to be driving me all over the place because he'd been on the road all week. And I know that feeling when I used to drive with him. We just wanted to go home and stay home. We didn't want to have to do anything. So yeah, we used to stop, pick up groceries or whatever we needed on the way home so we never had to leave the house. 
just very rarely did we. Yes. All right, so let's uh, see if we can pull this blanket up. Whew. Oh my God, it's heavy. All right, let's see what we can do. My problem with lifting is I can't lift above my head. I'm okay to kind of lift here, not too far off the ground. So I kind of knew I'd be able to get these off. Yeah, but I just, I don't want to scratch the back end of this. So let's keep the blanket under it. <laughs> Onyx is crying at the door there. RJ was out, but he doesn't want to be out, so I don't know if he's sensing this storm or why he doesn't want to be out, but yeah, he does not want to be out. I know, you guys just want to see the desk. Get this over and done with, Caroline. How did I do that one? This one's going to be a little bit trickier, but I don't think it's as heavy. Are you heavy? Are you heavy? It'd be better to try to get the one side down like you did with the other one, wouldn't it? All right, here we go. Wish me luck. Like I said, I can lift, use my body and lift down. Ow, that was my fingers. I know, don't tell Sean. I nipped them. All right, break time. Oh boy, oh boy, it is heavy. If I got this glass one down, we can get this one down. I just don't want to drop it. I don't want the legs to break. Oh yeah, that hurt. And it's cold, it's cold out, so that hurt. All right, here we go, here we go. Sheesh, Caroline. I think I lifted the other one by the leg, didn't I? goodness why am I making this one look so awkward I kind of don't have anywhere to hold here okay maybe this is gonna work oh boy oh boy oh boy I guess this one's solid wood. Of course, it's going to be a little bit heavier, right? What I need is for it to just whoop, break down. And then we'd be good. We would be good. You know how easy this would be with two people? Two people, Caroline, two people. All right, I'm going to see if I can grab these two legs. Oh, here we go. Oh God, it's gonna fall. Oh, we're down. We did it! As I fall over with my heavy leg. <laughs> oh my. Just another exciting day with Caroline. How beautiful is this? Hope you guys can see it. Now there is one knob that has some chewed up damage on it. The funny thing is my sewing machine has these knobs. So maybe I could just switch one out. But anyway, it lifts up like this and it folds back and you got a little drawer here. You got two little compartments full of dust. This slides out. So just think back in the 1930s, they had already invented this. This slides out to give you more table space to write. It's very similar to the style of my sewing machine. And then you get these two nice deep drawers. Beautiful. Now there is one big scratch right there. I think uh, I have a little bit of a paint pen or um, I don't know, this side's great too. 
but that's okay. This thing survived since 1930. Could be earlier. We were researching them, and uh, most people put it in that 1930 era, but desks like this started back in the 1800s. So like I said, it was a bit of a bitty war. I said to the auctioneer, he had him and he, he's an older man and a younger guy helping him put them on. And he says, uh, at first he, we, he was walking with my paper and he says, oh, somebody overpaid for this desk because he thought it was like, there was a desk there that was, you know, could have been made last year for all we know. And I said, no, 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 that's not the desk. I said, it's the other one. And he read the paper. Oh, yes. He said, you know how rare these are? And I says, yes, I do. I also know that it was quite the bitty more for me to win it. And he goes, well, that's what an auction's all about. And I'm like, you're right. <laughs> so he said that I got it for an excellent deal after he realized what, what desk it was. Would this not make a beautiful uh, makeup table as well? Because, you know, I can close it up. I can open it. The fact that this goes down, I can have a mirror sitting right here, here or here. There's a bit of a gap. Can you see? So the mirror could sit there or there. And then when I'm not doing my makeup, I'll put the mirror back in. Because that is like a little over gap. I love it. Very pleased with it. have no idea where we're going to set it yet, but it will be in the house somewhere. Absolutely. Anyways, that is it for my auction. Um, yeah, I'll let, oh, I told you about the doctor, so I gotta wear this stupid thing for the next six weeks, yeah. And my finger will heal. What I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna take this off it. I just wanted it covered while I was doing things. I'm gonna take this off it, let it air out. And I have that liquid Band-Aid and liquid Band-Aid works really well because in the summertime, not in the summertime, in the winter time when it's so dry in the house, especially here in Manitoba, because the houses are heated, the older houses in the country are heated with electric. So you can imagine how dry it gets. I actually get the cracked uh, skin and I'm always painting my hands with liquid Band-Aid. It works. So that's what I'm gonna do with this. It, it was pretty sore. I opened the window. Sean was out back cutting up uh, one of the trees and I yelled out, Sean, I cut my finger. <laughs> and I'm holding tissue paper, paper towel, I mean, paper towel and the blood's coming through and I'm like, I feel like I'm gonna faint. He's like, sit down, sit down. But it's fine. I actually do faint at the sight of blood, <laughs> believe it or not. <laughs> I said to my daughter, that's the nurse. I said, see, I could never do your job because I think it's a sight of blood. I really do. It's crazy. So yeah, that is it. I'm just rambling on here. Alrighty. So yeah, I will. Uh, I I did also go to Dollar Tree and Dollarama. So I will haul that. Not today. I'll, I'll do that tomorrow. I'm gonna go put my foot up now because it is after four o'clock. And uh, watch out. Oh for the storm and we'll sit upstairs and uh maybe read my book uh maybe start a couple of those little jigsaw puzzles that i got they're cute to, to do they they do up fast and uh that's it all right so i'm gonna move the truck forward put the tailgate up and we will drop this guy down See, you guys don't get to see me struggle. I hide all this. I do. Whew. And up there. But I've always worked a manly job. Um, I was a figure skater, started coaching, wanted to drive the Zamboni, was the first uh, girl in Ontario anyway to be a Zamboni driver. I worked for the city of Brampton. So I did that and my first husband was a truck driver, always said when the kids, um, you know, grow up and move out, I'm going to be trucking with you. But that didn't last. 
that marriage. And it's funny how I ended up with Sean, who is a truck driver, and I did end up having that dream of driving the transport with him. We drove team for about eight years, I think. And uh, they took my big truck license away when I got diagnosed. They left the air brakes on it. And I even said to them at the licensing place, I own the big rig, I can drive it, but now you're not allowing that to happen because say something, you know, God forbid something happens and I do need to go get the truck. I'm not able to drive it. So it's going to be a hassle, right? And uh, they said, sorry, you, you know, you have to pass a medical to drive a transport. And I wasn't going to pass the medical, which I understand. So that's why I do not drive with Sean anymore. I have gone on a few trips, but I just, I want to drive. And so it's hard for me when I am out in the truck, I'll always joke to him. Uh, when's my turn? Is it my turn to drive? And he just says a little, little bit, not far now. <laughs> but yeah, it's something we both have to understand. Anyway, let me pull the truck forward and I will be back. I'm going to, oh, I have to walk around the other way. I'm going to sit the keys here on the back. So let's see if we can drive it without having them in the cab. Doing a test run. work there you go folks the keys need to be in the cab it said to be no no keys detected so you cannot leave your keys on the back while you drive away all right let's try this again Oh my goodness, there's so much dirt on the truck. It's horrible. All right, that is it, folks. Take care. I'll catch us all on my next video. Bye for now.